Welcome to CB Radio Show and Tell. Today and today, we're going to do a review on the Texas Ranger 696F. What do you think of that? Cool. Is the 696F a good radio? Yes. Is that the one we use all the time? Yes. No, it's not. <sighs> it's not. We use it sometimes, but not all the time. Anyway, we're going to show you the good, the bad, and the ugly about the Texas Ranger 696F. So stay tuned and here it comes. Okay, so here we go with the review on the Texas Ranger 696F. It's a very nice radio. Cosmetically, it's, you know, it's comparable to the Saturn. Saturn's basically the same radio. This radio has got a flaw to it, and I've seen three other ones, and they all do the same thing. All my radios are hooked up to a power strip. Sorry if the phone's shaking a little bit, but that's just the way the video is going to have to be. So when you cut the power off to this thing, and you turn the power back on, it does this, and it's the most irritating thing ever. That is highly irritating. So that's one of the bad things with the Texas Ranger 696F. The other thing is, mine has been modified with the changing LEDs. You can see the color change here. I like it. It's kind of cool. It gives it a little bit of character. There's another flaw with this radio, and the Saturn has the same thing. I'm not, well, it's, it's similar, but it's basically worthless. It's this switch here. It's called the noise filter. It sounds like it just went underwater. It is the most worthless feature you could ever have on a radio. If you want people to sound like they're underwater, let me get it on AM for you. Okay. So you hear that guy, right? We're going to get him where he talks. It actually does not sound better. It sounds worse. So I don't know what they were thinking from the manufacturer, but... That's that's not good. Another flaw that I see with this is weather. We'll go to weather on here. And I know the weather bands aren't great anyway. But you don't get anything. I get nothing on weather. So weather is basically worthless. It's, it's a good radio transmit wise. It's great. I love the red LEDs compared to the green LEDs that the Saturn has on it. The uh, the talkback, it functions okay. It, you know, it's talkback. Hello, hello, one, two, three, audio. I'm not much of a talkback fan. That always gets turned off on mine. Even when I use the Ecomag Echo Max, or Echo Max 2000 on this radio, it I tune it, I get it sounding good, and I turn it off. I, that's actually the most worthless thing ever. The, the automatic noise filter, it doesn't do anything really. You get a little bit of something, not much. Noise blanker, same thing. Basically not much. Uh, you know, it, it's, got, it's got good ears and good transmit, but as far as the way it works, I mean, you know, with some of these functions, they could have come up with different things on here. This noise filter is by far the worst. I, I've never seen... It, it makes it ten times worse. It, it's just not good. Even on sideband. Let me see if I can get somebody on sideband here. Alright. So we dial it in. And that's another thing with this radio. Somebody else told me they had the same problem. It likes to drift every once in a while. Just every once in a while to move off just a hair. Okay, so we'll try the noise filter on sideband. I even on sideband, it's it's a worthless function. I could turn the noise blankers off and filter. I mean the noise filters off and absolutely not a cool thing. And if that's you on the east coast of North Carolina, North Carolina, you're sounding good, but not with my filter on. So. You know, basically, it's a good radio. Uh, I'll do the I'll do the uh, wattage here so you can see it on sideband. Hello, hello. It's doing you know swings up to twenty watts. Hello, hello. I don't usually whistle into my radios. I just did that so you guys could see it. Let's go to AM. 
I get off this channel. Go to AM and you can see it. This is a hundred watt or a thousand watt scale. Hello. Audio. So it's doing about the same wattage on AM. You know, realistically, it's a nice radio. If I had to put a price tag on this radio to buy it, seeing that I know what I know about it, you know, this this flaw with this power thing, man, here, I'm going to let you see it again. This is the most irritating thing ever. That Hearing that every time I turn my power strip on drives me insane. I mean, I'm sure I could go in there and unhook the piezo buzzer and all that stuff, but there's got to be a reason why that's in there, and I don't want to destroy it. I like the radio. It's beautiful looking, but as far as me putting a price tag on this radio, I would say if you were going to buy one of these radios, I wouldn't pay over 200 I'd say 240 bucks tops for this radio. It's a good talker. Don't be scared away by the flaws that I pointed out. You know, this this noise filter thing. I really don't care about it. I don't ever use it. And the blanker and the ANL, I don't ever hardly ever use those. Talkbacks pointless. Weather bands basically pointless because I don't listen to weather band. You got a smartphone. What do you need that for? So that's basically my review of the Texas Ranger 696F. Um, cosmetically cool, cool radio, uh, 240 bucks. I wouldn't pay any more than that for it. All right, cool. Everybody have a good day. Catch you on the flip side.